Hi, good morning and welcome again to the channel. This is uh, the second uh, walk in the National Forest and uh, today we're starting off at Moira Furnace. Moira Furnace here, built in 1804 by Francis Rawdon Hastings, Hastings, Earl of Moira, to exploit the wealth of the coal and iron ore in the area. And today we're heading up we're heading up along the canal, we're heading up to the Hicks Lodge Cycle Centre and we're going to go around the lake there and possibly around the cycle area at the back. So if you'd like to join us today, really appreciate it. My name's Richard and the uh, lady behind the camera is Carol and today we're filming on the GoPro Hero 7. Right guys, well this is Moira Furnace and over that way are the lime kilns and that's uh, they were all uncovered some years ago when they were renovating the uh, the furnace and the uh, and digging out the canal now if you look right that heads towards Donisthorpe and the terminus of this part of the Ashby canal which is eventually going to join up with the main canal network but uh, not at this moment This way heads down to the Moira Canal Basin and where we started the part one walk from, which was the uh, Conkers Waterside. They started reopening this part of the canal back in the uh, 80s. We got water in it uh, later in the 90s, or early in the 90s, but they're still not managed to connect it up yet. Normally when the museum's working correctly, the, uh, the boat's running boat trips from here and uh, it's worth a visit to go round the, the furnace, the furnace museum, which can be accessed upstairs. So uh, it's interesting, interesting building. Now here's a uh, relatively new development quite nice houses called Spring Bridge Wharf and they were built on the uh, site of the old Secura Labels factory and before that it was uh, a little business called Salts Brothers that I can remember as a lad looks like it's called the Ivanhoe Way where we've uh, just walked we've just come on to uh, Misham Road Moira and we're going to cut through another new housing development there's a, a fairly new cycle path and uh, footpath being put up by the side of this new development which takes us up towards the Hicks Lodge site just a few years ago this was all fields to our right here quite boggy fields actually and uh, all this area was a bit of a pond really so we were a bit surprised when they uh, built houses here it's lodge cycle center one mile this way so you just follow this footpath up through the uh, up through the estate and up towards the top up there Right guys, well we're uh, just walking up past the, uh, the new houses now, up to a place I think they're called Newfields. Some really quite nice houses up here. Quite unusual with all glass fronts, but uh, not so great when you're uh, when you've got a public footpath right in front of you. But uh, yes, very nice. Again, all been built in the last sort of four or five years. The road to the left down there, that takes you to uh, Moira, uh, Ashby Road, Moira. 
and uh, takes you back down towards Mora Furnace that way. Along here, the path that joins the uh, Hicks Lodge Cycle Centre. Beautiful cold morning, icy underfoot, but uh, yeah, great to be out. Great to be able to get some fresh air in these uh, lockdown times. I think this part of the uh, the area was formerly owned by Hepworth Pipes and uh, another company that was using the area for uh, tipping. And a bit further on, we'll uh, we'll en en enter an area that was uh, open casted for coal and for clay, and uh, it was open for years and years and years from uh, I, know, I can remember remember it from the uh, 1970s they've definitely set the Hicks Lodge area up with uh, lots of hard paths which he, which it makes it easy for the uh, cyclists and for probably people that are less equipped with walking boots so you can definitely do this walk with normal shoes Unlike the, sorry. I think you probably could do most of this in a wheelchair. Yes, yes. It's definitely much more accessible, and uh, it's well maintained by the uh, National Forest. Okay, this path is uh, just joining on to the circuit, and you've got a choice here. You can go left and round to the uh, Hicks Lodge Centre, or you can go right and it brings you back round to the Hicks Lodge Lot Cycle Centre. Also takes you, there's lots of other different paths, but uh, this is the way we're going today. How far do you think it is around the lake, Carol? A mile all the way around it, I would have thought. Yeah, it's probably, uh, it's probably a mile all the way around. I think we'd have to acknowledge that we're uh, really pretty lucky to have uh, this really close to us an easy walk from our house. Winter mornings don't get much better than this, do they, Carol? Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Beautiful. I'll give you a little view. Of... You can see over that way. Look. You just see the uh, the big V roof Hicks Lodge Cycle Centre. GoPro probably won't pick it up very well because it's uh, it's quite far away from here now. But it's become quite a bird bird sanctuary here, and uh, there's a little building just round there, which is a bird hide. You know, you can well in normal times, I think you can go in there and uh, get your binoculars out and uh, see what arrives on the lake. Mm of big birds on the ice here look <laughs> he's having he's having a spot of bother yes guys it really is this cold could have bought some bread he's literally walking on water in many many areas as you go around the uh, paths of the national forest you'll find metal sculptures like this which just do explain a little bit about uh, the area, the habitat, what's been going on and a map of the area. I think there's seven of them in the series of these. Seven of them? Mm -hmm. Alright, oh, okay. And there is a map that uh, I can put a link to actually. Yeah. I'll show you where they all I are. I think, I don't know whether it can pick up those photographs, but it shows what the area was like and the restoration in progress. The yeah, that picture at the bottom shows a small area of woodland, which is that area over there. That was left as, left as an island. You just can't imagine how it looked, but well, I can imagine how it looked because I can remember it. 
my family used to farm the farm just up behind the trees over there so uh, yeah done a great job here guys they really have great great job but anyway we're gonna keep following this path round, and we're gonna we're not gonna head down to Donisthorpe that way we're gonna follow the circuit round this lake and we're gonna go back up to Hicks Lodge and we're gonna get a hot chocolate, hot chocolate I, I think, think I think a hot chocolate could be in order yeah. okay well this is where the path forks off if you go Right, that takes you down to Wilsley Road, Donisthorpe, and towards the old Oakthorpe pit. But we're carrying on left and back round to Hitchlord site. So there's a lot, you'll see lots and lots of cyclists here because that's what it's really called, isn't it? Hicks Lodge Cycle Centre. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, we've just ventured slightly off the circuit. Remember that uh, photo I showed you? Uh, just back there of the little island that was left in the middle of the open cast. Well, we're, <laughs> we're on that little island, aren't we? And uh, I think this trail here was set up for drier days, don't you? Yeah, I think they do a forest <laughs> around here, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Carol was nearly down. Yeah, yeah, well, this is one of the few trees that survived the uh, the bulldozers and the scrapers and the diggers. Anyone got any idea what sort of tree it is? Oh, I don't know. It's an oak tree, look. Yeah. Leaves, yeah, it's an oak. So, come back out onto the trail here. It's about the highest point in the area. Nice you do get a nice sunrise here, yeah. Oh, I think Forrester England are uh, taking no chances. It's uh, like blatantly obvious it's icy, but got to cover every base these days. Okay, guys. Well, the Hicks Lodge Cafe is just down the end there. And this is a look back across the other side of the lake. And the very, very top of a roof over there is uh, my fam old family farmhouse. Well, my bedroom window was right on the top floor of that three-storey house over there. And we are back towards the Hicks Lodge Cycle Centre where you can hire yourself a push bike and hopefully grab a coffee and hopefully use the uh, toilet facilities. Well, they've got all the seating uh, coned off, try and stop people gathering here. But the cafe's still open, isn't it? It's still nice. Takeaway. Take take away. Panini. Yeah. All the soup. Cup of soup, probably. Yeah. So um, nice. The hot chocolate was lovely. And uh, we're going to go a little bit further and perhaps call back here on the way back home again. Uh, we're going to head out this way. There's a bin here. Right, we are here and we've walked round there and we're going to go across the road here which is Wilsley Woodside and we're going to just walk around the yellow route, the yellow route and then back, yeah? Mm. Yeah, 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 all different grades of routes. Uh, I'm not sure which ones are for the cyclists. What colour for the Blue cyclists? And green Blue and green for the cyclists. The yellow one you can walk. Yeah. I see, I see, Carol. Right, crossing the road. That way takes you back towards Moira, Norris Hill. That way takes you back towards Donisthorpe. And you follow this one uh, 
trail in until it branches left or right. And then that's basically the walking circuit, isn't it? Uh, well, it's the main circuit, really, which is a shared use. Mm -hmm. Cycles and uh, push bikes. Okay, well, this is uh, where we're joining the... This is where we're joining the circuit. As you can see, the right, we can go left. Which way do you fancy, Carol? And as you're walking this uh, circuit, there's little areas like this, there's little, little ponds that sort of sneak out at you on the way around. I'm not sure we're supposed to be using the benches, but uh, yeah. lovely little wildlife habitats. I mean, it's the beauty of the Hicks Lodge area. You can just, you haven't got to ride your uh, push bike on the road where it's uh, more dangerous. You can just bring them on the back with your car. If you're allowed to travel, you need to check your local regulations. But you can bring your bikes here and uh, cycle with the kids and uh, the kids haven't got to cope with the traffic. I think that's a, it's a great thing when the families come out. Yeah. We used to use these areas a lot with the kids when they were learning to ride the bikes as well, so we didn't have to go on the road. It's yeah. Idea. Oh, it's great when uh, kids are learning to ride. And uh, the inexperienced uh, cyclist can stick to this main main circuit and the uh, the off-road nutters can cut through the woods and I'll show you some of those trails in a bit. Well, this is uh, the first one of the uh, the cycle trails here specifically for cycles so you can no pedestrians tells you about it there tells you where the nearest hospital is as well <laughs> comforting it is well it's not challenging you could make a mistake and it is there's jumps and there's, yeah, there's bank, curves. bank curves where you can go really quite fast yeah. and uh, yeah yeah i would yeah. say take yeah. take your time the first time you go around it but we've yeah. seen we've seen people flying around yeah, there aren't they really i mean yeah. really really quick yeah. you know jumping the bike in the air and all sorts and uh, it's quite a sight to see but <laughs> yeah but yeah, but uh, don't go walking down the trail. Just right. save it for the people on the uh, push bikes. So if you've got a horse, there's a horse permissive route. Normally open April to October. So it's a bit boggy in the middle of winter for them. Right. We are there. And where are we thinking of going then now? Oh, We're yeah. thinking Here's of going... to Ashby and then back. Yeah, we're going to follow that yellow route. So you can, from this point, you can either go that way, or you can go that way. Nothing in it, really. You still got to go down that way, regardless. That's the S's. Ah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we've we've go got to go there, down the hill. Yeah. And then you come back up and. Yeah. Basically, that way is towards Ashby de la Zouche. That way over there is Shellbrook. And back that way is towards the uh, cycle centre and the cafe. So we're going down the grass. Yeah. It's definitely more direct. Okay, yeah. That that goes no, down in a series of S's. It's good yeah. good fun on a bike, but you walk twice as far by the time you've got to the it's bottom of the hill. Far, it's yeah. Ten times as far. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly a beautiful day. The socially distanced walk, eh? Mm -hmm. You kind of got to get out though, haven't you? Because you end well, up just. You've been out there for a week. You haven't been out there. Yeah, I'm flying. I know. So, you know, I've just been working all week. So, you can get out and get some fresh air when it is nice. I know. And for the people that are locked down at home, you've got to get out. You've got to get yeah. some exercise. Makes you feel and. Better. You're hurting nobody out here. Mm. 
and what, no matter what anybody says about getting out into the fresh air, it's the right thing to do for your state of mind, for your health. Just keep your distance from everybody else. Right, it's at the bottom of this uh, load of s bends where you've got the choice of going left or right. You keep walking left and you'll eventually come back out where they're coming out down there, so... And you can just see over the back there is the... Well, it's a disused bridge, but the... Uh, railway line, which is a freight line, is still in use over the top of it and you do very, very occasionally see a train go over it. And that is what they want to open up uh, to passenger traffic. The Ivanhoe line. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. I think they've set it up quite nicely. There's the odd table and chairs around if you do want to stop and bring a picnic when it's allowed. <laughs> Are we even allowed to bring a picnic out at the I moment? Don't think so at the moment no. Not, no. I don't think we're even allowed to have a picnic out at the moment. I think we're allowed to come out for a walk and for exercise. Just in the corner, those woods over there is the continuation of the uh, Blue Cycle Trail. It takes you right through the uh, through the middle of the woods there. See how the path's been cut down the hillside again for the uh, push bikes. Really nicely done. And this is where the uh, Blue Cycle route crosses the uh, the main trail here. I just need to keep an eye out on them and all these cycle trails are, are one way as well so there isn't any bad accidents. You can see how the uh, path's been sort of banked up for the for the cycles. Now, if you're feeling brave in the middle of winter it's quite a boggy path that brings you out in Ashby de la Zouche. Yeah, we quite often go this way in the summer. We quite often walk into Ashby and our favourite pub, which is the Tap at 76 on Market Street in Ashby. Have a pint, maybe two. Bought pie. Mm. Walk back. So we're going to carry on this way. I don't think we're going into Ashby today, are we? No. It's just hard work across that field. It's very, very boggy morning, yeah. Really, really boggy. If you do follow the horse permissive path, it's generally shorter because it kind of goes round the edge, doesn't it? So if you're in more of a rush to get back, it's all grass. We've done that on the way back from the pub. Yeah, we 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 always tend to take the shorter route on the way back from the pub, don't we? So we. Kind of on the way back to the cycle centre now, aren't we? Yeah, we're sort of round at the bottom of the curve. Yeah. Yes. We're about as far away as we're going today. Yeah. Have a look. Four miles so far. Four miles? Mm hmm Really? Mm-hmm. Blimey. Four miles is a lot for a fat bloke like me. <laughs> I think the thing about this side of the uh, the road from Hicks Lodge, less busy, isn't it? Oh yeah, most people, people don't walk, walk as lake. far. Yeah. They'll park up at the car park there, walk around the lake, go to the cafe, have a drink, and then drive off. Yeah, and they'll probably do a, a mile, mile yeah. and a half, which is probably plenty enough if you've got a a small kid walking. But yeah. if you want a longer walk, this side, this side is the place to come. Mm. Is that Shell Brook? What? The brook. I don't know if it's Shell Brook. <laughs> it's a brook, whether it's called Shell Brook, because the area down on the road to Ashby is called Shell Brook. Whether that, that is the brook called Shell, I don't know. Don't know. Somebody in the comments might tell us. That's if your channel ever gets any views. <laughs> and if you'd like to see what Carol and I do 
on non-lockdown times when we're away on holiday with our motorbikes have a look at the bandit man uk channel which is my channel my youtube channel just got a couple more uh, subscribers than carol but you're working on it aren't you although i am really aren't Not i really. this is your yeah. this is your winter channel when this, you're is, on your this is my winter in. project isn't it oh. yeah well, we do enjoy making little films and it passes the time so i'll put a link somewhere either left or right at the top of the screen and if you click that it'll take you through to uh, to my channel and it's basically motorcycle adventures here and abroad Come on, anyway guys we just about got back to where we came in on the circuit here I'm gonna head back down that way and the cafes just over the road so um, gonna go and get a panini I think and then walk home and there's cycle centre back in view so oh nice paninis weren't they Excellent. yeah great stop there so uh, it's a great little cafe there if you uh, are able to come here they are good and they're really reliably open they're yeah they're always open yeah open. yeah yeah and, um... well guys we've uh, veered off from the route that we uh, came up on and uh, we walked up that little road there past those uh, smart looking houses and we're going to go down what's locally known as the incline And the incline has been a public footpath forever really and before that it was a, uh, a railroad but it was like a, uh, a railroad to take the coal wagons down from up here from all the little mining areas and all these fields are littered with old mine shafts and when they built that new estate there they had to cope with several of them uh, the whole the whole area is littered with them and uh, they used to take the coal from the the small shafts and they used to load them into the wagons here and uh, because it's all downhill from this point the wagons used to go down to where the canal is and they used to load them up into the canal barges and, and take them away so uh, now it's just uh, grown up to be woods these woods have been here for as long as I can remember because as a lad I used to live just just down the road here and uh, I used to come up on my push bike and uh, my little motorbike and play around up here nobody used to bother we have about reached the bottom of the incline we're about to emerge back onto Mission Road Moira we should be very, very near those uh, nice houses on Spring Bridge Wharf, which overlook the new canal. Right, guys. Well, that's the end of today's walk. We're uh, back at the canal now, and uh, we're, we're not far from home, so... Uh, Thanks a lot for coming along with us and if you've enjoyed today's uh, walk, why not subscribe to the channel? There'll be more to come. Thanks a lot and we'll see you again. Bye for now. Bye for now.